You hungry for pizza? Well, come on over to Tally Ho's Pizza Tastic Pizzeria! Yeah! <laughs> we have a cold red pizza alert, team! Tally Ho! I've got the pepperoni. Cheese. Dough! Sauce! Cheese! Pepperoni! Let's bake. Go to Tully Hose where the pizza flows. You gotta feed your stomach, gotta feed your soul. Everybody knows where you gotta go. Where do you go? Tally Ho's. Go to Tally Ho's where the pizza flows. You gotta feed your stomach, gotta feed your soul. Everybody knows where you gotta go. Where do you go? The Tally Ho's. Hello, folks. Here at Tally Ho's, we have the finest, greatest in the world. Stacy. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. Found only in the Black Mountain Hills of Dakota. 123 Sasquatch Ranch, Rick. We here at Tally Ho's want to be part of your pizza family. We've been serving and dishing out the best pizza since 1948, ever since your grandpa wore diapers. <laughs> if I told you anymore, I'd have to kill you. Well, folks, have a great day. Next time you're in the mood for the best, think of us. <laughs> we do pizza right. We hear telehose will not be able to respond for diarrhea, vomiting, hallucination, suffocation, and ingestion, or death. All rights reversed. Flight work prohibited. That was the best commercial I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. I look good. I look real good. It's good. I like it more every time. It's just fun. Yeah, it's good. Real good. Yeah, I think. Shut up, Hector! Every time! Every time! Why can't you just be yourself, huh? Go make some pizza, all right? Laura, why don't you do something, huh? Go take care of that TV. You know, that commercial gets better and better every time I watch it. Yeah, it's quite invigorating. Uh, are you and Terrace still coming over this weekend? Nah, I gotta work like usual. Need the money. That's right. We still have to get her that super romantic gift. It's a show of, uh, eternal... What was it? Uh, oh, I read in the paper. Love. Absolutely. You're gonna get her that... golf ball? No, oh, it's not just a golf ball. It's a symbol of love, Mark. I suppose a golf ball could be a symbol of love if you have a strong, active, overly exaggerated imagination. You see, it, it represents my, my conviction toward Terra, my, my fiery passion of loyalty and admiration. I dove into the filthy recesses of mini golf water to rescue this, this young lady's emblem of eternal love. This golf ball? No, it's more than that. It, I dove into the disgusting... No. Yeah, you see, there I was. There she was. And there she was, there I was. Anyway, she lined up her shot. Swing. Plop. So I ran. Ran and dove into the disgusting, putrid mini-golf water. And there it was. Like a blue ball of... Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. No more talking. I just don't get how this thing is taking up all your money. You're gonna get it laced with gold and crusted with diamonds or something? Nope. Bronze. How sweet. You see, the bronze represents the courage and, and admiration I have. Cheap? For Forty bucks. Nice. I still don't get why this thing is taking up all your money. No, you see this... Golf ball? Thank you. This golf ball, if you so wish it to be called, happens to be the key that unlocks the door this. Santa? Clearance. Oh. Wedlock. 
pizza's gonna fall apart. Oh, jeez. I don't know about this, man. Are you sure? Absolutely. We've been together for years. I, I know every aspect of her, every nook, every cranny, every hair on her head. Dude, you know, I like her a lot, and she's a really sweet girl, but isn't she just a little too emotional? Oh, oh come on. What girl isn't emotional? Besides, I like to think of her as passionate. Yeah, I guess. for a week now. He pretty much just yells at me about how his life stinks. Oh, so you're shrink that just happens to be delivering pizzas to his clients. Pretty much. Thanks. Good luck. Thanks. Address 1116 North Rancho. There you go, sir. You know I'm upset. Right? Right? Huh? Do ya? Mm, no, sir. You're six minutes late with my pizza. I'm six minutes more hungry because of you. I take enough crap from the boss at the deli all day long. And I have no girlfriend, Rick. I don't need a late pizza, too! It's you guys. It's you guys. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> it's ridiculous! I can hardly believe it! I just hardly can believe it! Number 1622, sir. You know, I have no girlfriend. I don't need this late pizza, too! Here's a 20. Keep the change. And don't whine. But Stacy. Yeah. Stacy's told me about you. But you've been slacking off all night, huh? Do the dishes. Do it. Do it right. But it's so stupid. There it is. 
Hey man, hey. you hear about Aggie hiring two new drivers? One of them is her little brother. Isn't that crazy? When does she come out of the bathroom long enough to hire anyone? <laughs> yeah, I hear you, brother. You know, I've only seen her like twice the entire time I've worked here. She's the owner. Isn't that crazy? It's like your second day working here, Mark. Well, yeah. But isn't it strange how she's in the bathroom all the time? I mean, golly, what the hell is she doing back there all day, every day? She uses the bathroom as a separate room to check money. What? She checks to see if it's counterfeit. Supposedly when she came to America, she read some business magazines about American counterfeit scandals. Became suspicious of everyone that walks in the door. She checks every bill to see if it's a fake. Basically, she's a paranoid schizophrenic recluse Brit. Or so the legend goes. Wowzers! Isn't that something? It's crazy! as soon as I get a record deal. Working here all day and not making music isn't going to help me get that deal, is it? Fine. Simply tell Mother. You quit. I can't. She'll kick me out. You should just fire me. Oh, I shan't do that. Why not? Mother would bloom and kill me. Fine. I'll make you fire me. I'm not going to fire you just so you can make computer music. We'll see. Give me my bloody t-shirt. Don't do anything ludicrous. Oh, it's going to get crazy. Justin! Just... Taking good tips tonight? Yeah. Seven bucks on the last run. Man, you always get the good tips. I'm, uh, dashingly handsome. What can I say? I see. Get the phone!
What are you doing, Hector? What? Phone, Hector! Ring, ring! That usually means that someone somewhere is waiting for someone by the name of Hector the Idiot to pick up the phone so that they can order a pizza. But, but guess what, Hector? I don't think they'll get their wish. They might go without their hopes and dreams because that idiot Hector is too lazy and self-centered to pick up the phone. Fine. My order's up and ready to what? go. What? Well, you haven't let me deliver for a while, so I... Hector! Thought... I will kill you. Do you understand? Martin! Take that delivery. Sure. Sounds fun. Yeah. Show you the ropes you learn from him, okay? Okay, thanks. And another thing? You need to tuck that in, okay? Chris, it's, it's too small. Tuck it in! Okay. Sam, right? Yeah, I'm Martin. Cool. Good to meet you. Boy, it's good to see a fresh face around here. Now, I know Wait, you do, and you're probably kind of nervous, but, you know, I'm kind of nervous, too, because I've only been here a few days. I've never trained anyone before, but I'm sure, you know, I'm a good actor. I think I can get away with it. I, uh, yeah, it wasn't a big thing or anything, but in yeah, high school, I'd well, make that, then Hamlet, tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> All right, saddle up, partner. Sam seems nice. Yeah, it'll be sad when this job breaks his spirits. Martin's due any time now. Yeah. Hey, Jerry. Phone's for you. I think it's your girlfriend. This is such a fun job. <gasps> You're going to just love it. Do you ever get lost or anything? Oh, heck no, bro! With those maps and the computers, there's no way! They practically pinpoint exactly where you need to go. It's crazy! Well, oh, good. See, that's what I was, what I was worried about, because I'm not, I'm not very good with directions. I, I tend to get lost pretty easy. You got a map of the city in your car? Yeah, I think so. Oh, you'll be just fine. Just between you and me? I think we all get lost easily, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, do you ever get any good tips? Oh yeah, man. I average like $12 a night after gas expenses. That's with running air conditioning, cruise control, and the windows rolled down, brother. This can be a career for me. It really can. It's crazy. Calm down. I bent over in the garage. I bent over. She's dying. Wait, 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 wait. You completely backed over your cat with your car and she's still alive? She's very resilient, Jerry. Oh. 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 I think she's taking her last breath right now, Jerry. She sounds fine. I can hear that stupid cat screaming right here. She's not stupid, Jerry. Okay, okay. How much does that say it's gonna be?
would have to be something, please. Okay, okay, I will. Just tell me how much it's gonna be. <laughs> the vet said forty-seven dollars for the admission fee. Who is this guy? Jerry. What kind of veterinarian is this? He's the best, Jerry. And the best is what Mrs. needs right now. Okay, what time do they close? Tara, what time do they close? Ten o'clock. They said they had to stay open late tonight to work on a badger. A badger? Yes, Jerry. They said that, that as long as we brought her in before they close, they, they could fix her. And, and that they'll fill you the rest in small pieces later. The rest? I've got to go back to work. I'll get the money. Just hang in. Okay. Oh! Oh, man! <laughs> no, please. Don't die on me. I love you. <laughs> Be live. No problem. No problem. Jerry. Oh, Jerry. Oh, crap. I like to see you in my office, Jerry. Oh, man. That's not good. He had that crazy look in his eyes. No good news ever comes out of there. Ever! You wanted to see me, I guess? No. I wanted you to come in my office without so much as a knock. Who is it? Jerry? Enter. Oh, Jerry. It's so good of you to knock. But I haven't been told like a good little boy. That's so polite and courteous of you. Please, take a seat. I, uh... Couldn't help but overhear your phone conversation just now. You were listening on the line? No. I just overheard what, what you were saying. You were in your office. <laughs> Nevertheless, I know what your goal is tonight, Jerry. To save some run-over feline from certain death, is it not? Yes. That's why I think I should go. Enter! Hector! I'm not in the mood right now for your lack of intellect. Well, there's a delivery and it's kind of late. A lady just called and she's wondering where... I don't have time for this, Hector! Well, it's been like half an hour and it's just sitting there. The place it has to go to is really far out there, too. Way out in the middle of nowhere. That well, where's Justin? On the delivery? Rick? Delivery. Mark? Delivery. Martin? Delivery. Sam? Oh, with Martin. I'm the only driver besides Jerry. I mean, I can take it. It's no problem. Jerry will take it when we're done here. Well, since I'm not really doing anything, and it's kind of late, I thought maybe I could... Hector! I could maybe... Hector! Clean something. Jerry will thank you. Thank you. So, Jerry. 
think yourself noble? I'm trying to save some beeline, do you? I'm just trying to help my girlfriend, that's all. I see. Can I go on that run? I really need the money, as you can tell. In a second, Jerry. I want to show you something. is my dog. I am a dog person. I am a member of a certain elite group called Bow Wow Enterprise. Canine friends. Okay. We raise dogs. We train dogs. We love dogs. But you can guess, Jerry, that my natural enemy is the same as my good friend buddies here. Uh, oh, come on, you can't. You can't what, Jerry? I'm bossed around here while good old Aggie's locked away in the bathroom due to her agoraphobia. That's not right, Chris. Even for you. Come on, man, you can't be that cruel. Very well. You're right. I'm not that cruel. Love your enemies, right? I won't stop you from trying to earn money tonight, Jerry. Okay. Thank you. However, I like to make things interesting. You will go on ten runs. No more, no less. You may make enough tips, but now I have enough time to get to the bed. You may get out on time, but now I'm enough tips. You'll need a perfect balance. Ten runs, that's all. You can't do that. You can quit right now. You can quit. I love that poor kid. <laughs> Don't think your girlfriend will appreciate that, though. Looks like you're quite a predicament, Jerry. I suggest you take that order as soon as possible. Whoa, whoa, hold on there, Hot Rod. What? What? You've got to be confident, but not demanding. Ease it down. In and out, Sam. In and out. Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah. I'll do the talking. Listen carefully and pay close attention. The key is respect for the customer. Go ahead and give that doorbell a little ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Hello, sir. How are you doing today, sir? Sir. Yeah, that was messed up. Yeah, well, some people are just like that, I suppose. Oh man. What? Missing a dollar and twenty-seven cents. Ring the doorbell again, would you, Sam? Sir, we just gave you a pizza. We're missing a dollar twenty-seven from you. We know you're in there. Well, what are we gonna do? Nothing. I'll just have to pay for it out of my tips, I guess. It's fine. I'm not going to let this certain individual upset me. Come on. How many tips have you gotten tonight? Zero. How many deliveries? Three. Oh, that sucks. Oh well. Must be in a small slump tonight. 
it'll pick up. guy. Oh, it's Rick! My favorite pizza boy! Hello, sir. You're on time, Rick! You're learning! Or is there some kind of catch? There's something you're planning to make my life even more miserable than it already is! I'm on to you, pepperoni boy. There's another pizza, sir. Another pizza? Are you trying to say something, Rick? Are you trying to say I can't get a girlfriend because I'm fat? I eat too much pizza? I can't hold a steady job because I'm morbidly obese? I know what you're saying, Rick. 36 and 22, sir. Been in my pizza, didn't you? No. You know, I have an outstanding high mortgage. I don't need your so I didn't spit on your pizza, sir. My boss treats me badly. Okay. Here's a 20. Keep the change. I've ever seen you work around here, ever since I hired you. At all. I'm the one that's been doing all the work around here. Laura's the one that's been slacking off. What? You're the one slacking off, making me do everything. That's right. You're always saying that she doesn't do any work, huh? That's because she doesn't do any work. What exactly have you done, Laura? Oh, are you kidding me? I cleaned the make line, I did the dishes, She's I washed lying. the floor. So what have you done, Stacy? Kind of stuff. I uh, did the dishes. Uh -huh. I make pizza. I see. See, she doesn't do any shut it. Stacy. Laura, cut the sauce. What? Oh, how could you? She doesn't do anything. I do everything. I hate you. Sorry, Laura. I just really hate the smell of pizza sauce. I do everything around here, and you do nothing. Nothing. Sorry, Laura. But I have very strict rules I must abide by. What, avoid work at all costs? 
Precisely. Have you ever tried to keep a job and then you you know, a week here, a smile, or the stupidest thing I've ever heard? You're stupid. Do you even give me tips from those beauty magazines? I write them. No, that's why they don't work. Well, it takes an ugly one and no ugly one. At least you're admitting it. You're ridiculous. Your mom's ridiculous. Oh, that was so lame. Your face is lame. gonna get it a whole anyway you got the pizza there oh I sure do Mark the pizza's here that'll be 1622 well sure boys get that tranny off the table the food's coming all right here you go thank you very much sir y'all come back now four bucks I'm on my way ready for that kind of commitment, Hector. Well, before you became assistant manager, I was delivering for like two years. I, I can do it. I mean, it's no problem, you know? So, maybe I can... Okay, 
Tara, don't, don't worry. I, I've almost got the money. I think I just heard her death rattle. Well, what about the vet? I, I thought he was the best. Well, he is, but he just... Darn it, Tara. Mint is gonna make it. No matter what. Yeah? You really think so? Yeah. All that I can do it. I do it for you. <laughs> and mittens? Yeah. Sure. All that I do it do for mittens too? I guess. I think that's the sweetest thing I've ever heard you say. Yeah, well, I try. There you go, that, that's the spirit. She's crying! Yeah, well, I guess I just got that special... Hello? I'm not much of a pet brownie guy. No. This is good. <laughs> Look at that. It's 1622. Thank you. One more for the road. Good night. Tally ho. Big pizza run by myself. Ah. It's gnarly. This is sweet. This is awesome. Yeah. Man, I sure am hungry though. That pizza, it smells. It smells good. I mean, real good. Why don't you try a little piece? Just a little. Nah, better not. Well, then again, no one's gonna notice anyway. No. Nah, don't do it, Sam. Don't do it. Come on, Sam. Try. Why don't you have a little piece? No, no. <sighs> Come on, Sam. Try it. Come on, fat boy! Shut up! Shut up! Cheese, where, where the heck's Coach Cheese? Crap. May I help you? Hello, my name is Victoria Lemon, and I am quite hungry. I would like to partake of some food in the restaurant you are currently working in. Okay! What would you like? Can I have a hot dog, please? No, we don't serve that here. Do you have a noodle? No. Do you have cucumber? No. Laura, 
clean the window. Dang it. Pizza? Yes, I did. Great. Oh, we did get a pizza, didn't we, dumplings? Yes, we did. We're gonna get a pizza. It's gonna have pepperoni and mushroom fun. We're gonna love it. <coughs> <pizza. coughs> oh. <laughs> Would you hold my dumplings for me while I take the pizza inside? Okay. <laughs> Too. Here's your money for the pizza. And Dumplings has an extra dollar for you. Thanks. Don't you think he's the most adorable duck on the planet? Sure, he's adorable. Do you really think so? Absolutely. Dumplings is the cutest thing since pink bunnies. Give him a kiss. <laughs> Dumplings likes compliments. Thank you. Have a nice day. Good night. Surprised I got that much. Okay, Martin. This is a promising house. Great people. If you're going to get a tip tonight, it'll be from this house. You're a good person, Martin. You deserve a tip. These are great, kind, generous people. Smile. Be bright. Okay. If you don't, I have to pay for it. Sir? Uh, yeah, you got paid for Vimby. Uh. Yeah, yeah, I think I do, actually. It's my own money, but I can use it. Let's see. 16.22 from 50 is 34. And... Sir? I know you're in there, sir! Who 
Cochise. The heck? Where the heck is Cochise? You got a map of the city in your car? I know, Martin. You told me the first time. Quiet. I'm trying to find it. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This map is retarded. I knew that little Indian lady didn't know what she was talking about. Tuck, 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 tuck. Geronimo? Who the heck is Geronimo? Oh, screw it! I don't know where I'm going. I'll just drive it till I get there. But I'm hungry! That was a pizza! Last week, I love it. Mm. <laughs> You're serious? Yeah. You sat on their pizza the whole way, and they didn't even notice. You got two buck tip too. Why don't you just quit, man? My mama kicked me out. Oh uh, yeah. You're Aggie's brother, right? Yeah. So where's your accent? Don't have one. Oh, I get it. Aggie's from Britain and you're not? No. She was just really into Mary Poppins when she was a kid. Oh. I'm gonna go talk to her. Tell her what I've done. Yeah. Good luck or bad luck or whatever. How's the predicament? Oh, well, it's coming along. Got about an hour, three runs left. Five more bucks? Yeah? Yep, I'm in the clear, Mark. I'm in the clear. Yeah, like Martin. What about Martin? You ever heard? He's starting to crack. <laughs> yeah. He's such a happy guy, too. He was. See ya. Later. Fire me, Aggie. I can't, Justin. I can't. I don't want to work here. I'm just wasting my time. Mother would never let me hear the end of it. She would say I disgraced the family. Then I turn my back on blood. I don't care. Fire me. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. What? That's it. I'm getting fired, Aggie. I don't care what I have to do. What? I'm letting loose. Don't loose. I'm losing. No loose. Justin. Loose. Justin. <laughs> Problem, Rick? No, I was just. I get enough criticism at the deli from my boss. He doesn't appreciate me. I do more work than him, the cashier, and the supervisor. All put together. I'm sick of it. Yeah, me too. Hey, get that five bucks you needed? No, exact change. That sucks. You got two more runs, right? Yep. It's only a little past nine. You got time. We'll see. Two runs left, huh? Yep. You think you'll make it tonight, Jerry? I have confidence. We'll see. Day detector! Um, there's someone on the line. They want to know if we deliver out of the foothills. No, we don't go that far. That's way out in the middle of nowhere. Wait. Yeah. Tell them that we'll deliver just this once. You don't mind, do you, Jerry? Oh, come on, Chris, you really put you it in quick. You better get going. 
<laughs> oh, and who cut the pizza? You might need it. Thank you, Jerry Barry. What are oh, there's you? There's another delivery. I don't care. Well, it's real late, and there are no other drivers except me. To take no, it. no, Hector. You're too stupid to drive. What should I do then? Take the phones or something. I don't care. Nobody's calling. Hector, I don't know. Get the phone book. Call people. Ask them if they want pizza. Ask them if do it. Have Hey there, little princess. Is your mom or dad there? Yeah. Cute kid. Things are looking up. Huh, what you got there? Oh, <laughs> oh you got me. <laughs> we didn't order any pizza. Are you sure? Is this 390 Hummingbird Lane? Yeah. And are you Alice Swan? Yeah, but this must be some sort of prank. We, we didn't order any pizza. Uh, uh. Lemon juice? Huh. Ow! Uh, ah! I'm late for dinner. I was never late on pork chop night. Just forget it. Just forget it. Just forget it. Oh, you're so fat, you can't do anything right, Zap. I'm just, I'm just gonna go back. She's gonna just go back. I say, hey. I can't find it, Chris. I just can't find it. It'll be okay. It's my first night. I don't understand. Fat <laughs> boy. Okay, just, just go back and tell Couldn't find it. It's no big, no big deal. No big deal. John Wayne Lane? I don't, I don't remember passing a John Wayne Lane. Maybe I did. I don't know. Just, just go. Screw it. We're on our way home. We're on our way home. Yeah, Leah. Oh, there was no Catalina. 
There was no Catalina! Uh. <laughs> Great. We're not even home when I'm here trying to deliver them a gosh darn pizza. I mean, oh, you must be talking to me. There's no one else around. I'm the only one here. Uh, well, that was kind of funny with the, uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you say? Have you been waiting for me very long? All my life. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Let me go get some money. She said I was cute. Sacrifice myself to save your pizza. Oh, great. It's 1622, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Here's 16, 15, 20, 22. And your tip. A tip? There you go. Um, ma'am? Uh huh. It's a lottery ticket. Yeah, sorry, that's all I had. And, um,. It's already used. Yes, it is. And, um, it's a loser. Well, then it must have your name written all over it. <laughs> take her to the vet, right? Oh no, we're still going to take her to the vet. Never ever make health assumptions. That is the number one rule in feline care and ownership. Okay. All right. Thank you, Gary. You've been so great to me through all this. I don't know how to thank you. Oh no, no, Mittens. Leave the court alone, sweetheart. What are you talking about? I'm there for Mittens. Mittens must go on, Tara. You are so sweet. Tell you what, after we take Mittens to the vet, I am going to make you the biggest steak dinner you've ever seen in your entire life. 
have with those little red potatoes? Yep, you betcha. You deserve it. And I'm gonna... <laughs> Okay, calm down, calm down. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm draw a blanket on her. A blanket? What is a blanket gonna do? I don't know. Okay, bye. Hello, sir. Nice porch you got here. Yeah, hi. Uh, it's all right. Um, you got my pizza? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's right here. Sorry about that. It's been a long day. I've been working real hard. Taking those extra hours doesn't help much. I put some extra cheese and pepper packets in there. Oh, and uh, some ranch dressing if you like to dip your pizza. Thanks. Just watching your back, sir. Thanks. Uh, how much do I owe you? Oh, sixteen twenty-two, sir. Hey, keep the change. Thank you very much, sir. Two cents tip? Oh, crap. Why can't I get a girl, Rick? I'm better than a lot of people in this stupid town. I'm better than my boss. That's for sure. I really don't know. I'm a good guy. I have what it takes! Okay, that is it, sir. If we're gonna get anywhere, we need to start with your parents. <laughs> okay, just let it out. Let's start from the beginning. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> this is gonna work. This is actually gonna work. Chris? Oh. Dang it, Laura. Knock, all right? Knock. Gang, sorry, sorry. Come in, Laura. Thank you for knocking. Very smart of you to knock like that. Very smart. I'm just glad you're not stupid enough and just barge in here like a Neanderthal. Sorry. What do you want? 
well, we're fixing to close the pizzeria, huh. and we still have a lot of cleaning up to do. Yeah. And none of us are going to get out of here at a decent hour unless no. um, no. Stacy starts helping out. And I thought since she works here and everything, that maybe... Wait, hey, are you tattletelling on Stacy? What? No, I was... You're tattletelling, aren't you, Laura? No, I just thought since she... Okay, this is not the playground anymore. This is real life, all right? This isn't make-believe land. You're going to have to grow up. Now, get out of my office, because like you said, there's a lot of things to be done. So go do it. I gotta go run an errand, alright? Sure, Chris. Let me just do your stupid job like I do everybody else's stupid job every single stupid day. You want me to carry your stupid face to your stupid car for you? Huh? You want me to drive you to your stupid errands? Huh? Uh, stupid? Need help? Huh? No, no, no! Hey, Martin. Chris told me to give this to you so you could give it to Jerry. Jerry! Sorry, Mark. I only have like 15 minutes to make this last delivery and I still need two bucks. I will give you the two bucks. It's not that big of a deal. It matters to me. I made an oath a long time ago that I would never borrow money again. Enough. What for? I would rather not talk about it. Hit me with your truck. You don't want to talk to Get back here. Jerry, I'm your friend. And I want you to be 100% sure that you want to devote your entire life to that girl. My answer to that. Boy. Yes, Mark. This golf ball is my answer. I do through the slimy mini golf water to get this. All right, all right, shut up. Heart finally cracked. Guess so. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. i got one more order for you. It's very special to me. I need you to go out to Swift Trail, Thanks, Tal, Chris. You gotta go all the way out to Swift Trail? We don't even deliver that far. No, we don't. But uh, Chris says you gotta. You gotta, buddy. I'm not even sure how to get there. It's far. Very far. Not in my last delivery. Well, I, I don't have time. Well, if you haul butt out there, you... no, you're not going to make it. Where I'm is it? The Check the map. So be it.
be okay. I'll get you there. Just, okay, calm down, okay? Take deep. Oh, Jerry! 
Take the cats to the vet. I'll be there by 10 with the 94 bucks. I promise. Okay, 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 thank you, Jason. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you. Okay. No problem. Okay. I'll see you at 10, alright? Sure. No problem at all. Okay. Love you. Bye. Okay. Bye. Forty-nine bucks. Forty-nine bucks. Miracles happen, right? Sure they do. Why not? One cat out of two is not that bad. Better than two dead cats. Here you go, sir. I got you your paper. Now how about you be a pal and give me a $49 tip. I'm never getting married. Good evening, Jerry. I thought I'd give you the honor and allowing your last delivery to be to yours truly. And isn't it an honor? Yeah. Chris, this is just not right. You've had your fun, Chris. This is just pizza, please. Please, Jerry. Please. Oh, and uh, how much is it, sir? 1946. How much is that? Oh. I'm going a little light this week, and, uh, here's a $20 bill, and, uh, keep the change. Oh, uh, Jerry! Hold on. Tell your little girlfriend that, uh, I'm real sorry about her cat. <laughs> Tough break, huh? Well... Maybe she'll be smart enough next time and actually watch where she's going, huh? You know what, Chris? You better be careful about what you say about my girlfriend. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Well, what are you gonna do, Jerry? Well, I've got plans, Chris. Oh, do you now? <laughs> yeah, I do. You see, the better half of me has kept my mouth shut about a, a certain little something about you. And about how you spend your free time. But I don't know if I can do it anymore. I might just open my mouth and tell Aggie all about that certain little something. What? You're stupid. There's nothing to tell. What? You think that- Twenties, Chris. Counterfeit twenty. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. What? You come up with I've that- I've seen them. No, better yet, I know exactly where they are in your desk. You can't prove anything. Oh, yeah? Where's your proof? Just have to show Aggie your death. That should be enough. Wait a second. What what makes you think that she'll believe you? Over me, huh? They're counterfeit twenties, Chris. I mean, come on, she's gotta believe me. What if I get there before you? Tell her that you've been trying to frame me all this time. Or that you've been trying to get my job. Maybe. You've been making the counterfeits all this time. Or maybe she'll find a counterfeit in your drop box. Yeah, well. Well, I guess whoever gets there first gets the first word. Yeah. Baby, go. So 
what's up, Jerry? Think you'll make it now? Oh, oh yeah, you, you just watch. I'm getting there. I'm getting there right now. Bring it. Bring it. <laughs> Girlfriend's cat's gonna die on account of your failure. But now you're gonna lose your job. Great way to start a life. Oh, Jerry! Hi. Hey, babe. Oh my gosh, it's a miracle! You see, my car broke down, and then I was like... Wait, that's not the miracle part. But, but the point is, my car broke down, and the cats aren't gonna make it much longer, and then I thought I was stranded out here when I needed to get to the vet, and then you came! And that's the miracle part. So, so do you think you could take me to the vet, honey? Okay. <sighs> Go get him. I'll, I'll take him over. It's not too far. Okay, okay, thank you. You know, honey, you've done so much for me through all of this. You really are a wonderful, great guy. And I am so lucky to have you. Oh, my cats! <laughs> Just a second, I'll be right back. Chris. 
been here for over two years. You shall be my new assistant manager. I know I can trust you. Wow. What? Assistant manager, Abby? What are you thinking? I won't call the police. However, I'll let Hector decide your punishment. Yeah. Okay. Um. Chris, you can be, um, you can be demoted to delivery driver. <laughs> what? <laughs> Taking the worst deliveries. What? <laughs> it's this. Jail. from Sweden. I assume he made it okay? Yes, and he brought two of his finest nurses. Good. Those two deserve the best. They're gonna get it. That's right. Thanks to you. Yeah, well, you're gonna be paying for the nose. I'll help you. I <laughs> Yeah, you will. Speaking of money... Remember this? Do you? Yeah, it's it's that golf ball that, that you found when you slipped and fell in the pond at the mini golf place. <laughs> Fella. Yeah, you came out all wet and stinky <laughs> and tried to pretend you were so heroic by purposely jumping in, but I saw you slip. Trying to scam me. Well, uh, I was gonna jump in, but since I already slipped. Uh, as I'm supposed to do. Okay, whatever, liar. Hey. <laughs> so, what are you doing with this thing anyways? Well...
Nice. <laughs> Good evening, ma'am. On behalf of Tally Ho's Pizza Task and Pizzeria, I'd like to deliver this pizza to yours truly. And, yeah, there you go. He is pretty good, though, isn't he? Nothing. Oh, yeah, he's a good pizza man. Oh, okay. Please. Oh, he's, he's really Please. so much as good as Get that thing on my face, lady. He's a rude pizza man. Just give me my money, please. Thank you. Ha <laughs> ha 